this panel is out of a gate and we're going to paint it. It has been painted but it's not been painted properly. It was done in a rush and it wasn't actually undercoated first. So I'm going to sand off all the existing paint as much as I can. I don't need to get it all completely off. If it's well stuck we can leave it. We're then going to give the panel a coating of Zinzer All Coats and we'll probably give it two or three coats of this. This is the gloss finish. You have to be really careful when you're choosing an exterior paint. Some exterior glosses and undercoats have an eight hour drying time. This particular paint can actually be recoated after just one hour so it does dry very quickly which makes your job a lot easier. I'm going to be using the Mercaderos which is hooked up to the dust extraction unit and at the moment I've got an 80 grit piece of abrasive on there and that will help to rough up the surface. After sanding this one we do have a couple of holes that have appeared so I'm now going to patch them up using some MH ready patch. This is very easy to use, it's ready mix. Simply take some on a filling knife. And just work it into the damaged area like so. We do also have a patch here as well. I've now swapped over to 120 grit abrasive and we're now going to give this another sand. I've now switched to a 320 grade abrasive and this is going to be the final sanding before we do the cleaning and then the painting. We've now got a good finish on there that can be painted. You'll notice that a lot of the paint is left on there, that is perfectly fine because that is perfectly stuck. If it's not loose and it's not flaking off, it doesn't matter, it can actually stay on there, you can paint right over the top of it. We're now just going to remove any dust that's left on this by using a damp rag. So I've just wet this with some clean water and I'm just going to wipe down the whole area and get rid of any dust. You can see stuff like that actually stops the paint from sticking properly to the wood so it's always a good idea to do this before you continue with the painting. We're going to use Zinzer All Coat in black to cover this timber. This is actually quite a unique paint in that the first coat that you put on actually acts as a primer, the second coat actually seals it and acts as a top coat. So we're going to put at least two, maybe three coats of this onto this timber. It's critical with any paint that you mix it thoroughly. So I have been mixing this for a good five or ten minutes. To apply the paint I'm going to use a synthetic brush for on the edges. And then for the main timber itself I'm actually going to use a gloss roller. I was actually using these yesterday, that's why they're already covered in paint. So that will give us a really good coverage and a really even coverage. The beauty of using a paint like this is that you can actually recoat it after just one hour. You have to be really careful when you're buying paint. Some paint, if you read the instructions, says that you have to leave it eight hours before you can recoat it. That can add a massive amount of time to the actual job that you're doing. So it's always a good idea to buy decent quality paint that does go off quickly. And then you can get your coats on as fast as possible and then it's not delaying the job. 
We're just going to go around this first of all and we're going to seal all the edges. Another point is when you're working outside is to keep out of the sun. You don't get a fast working time with this, it dries very quickly so you need to keep a wet edge so that it looks right. So it's important that you keep any work like this in the shade. You do not want to be trying to paint in the sun because it'll go off really quickly. Now that all the edges have been sealed we can now concentrate on the main face of the gate. So we're now going to use the gloss roller. So we're going to load that up with some paint and then we're going to apply that to the timber. I'm going to go across this in two directions, so I'm going to go across it that way first and then I'm going to finish in the direction of the grain of the wood. That's only been on there about 10 minutes and already it is touch dry. But we're just going to give it another hour, just to ensure that it is fully dry before we recoat it. Now I've finished using the gloss roller, I'm just going to wrap this up in a carrier bag. You can also use cling film for doing this, it'll just stop the air from getting at it and it'll stop it from hardening before you use it again. I've now turned the first panel over because it is dry on the other side and I'm now going to coat this side with the first coat. The first coat of Zinzer all coat has now dried on there, it's now been on there for at least an hour. We're now going to apply the top coat again using the gloss roller. <laughs> 